Hello everyone, VHE Tutor here, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Jackhammer to work with Half-Life, as well as get you set up with some modern compile tools and uh, uh, Half-Life uh, model viewer tools, which is actually called uh, Half-Life Asset Manager. And right now I'm on the whole hl.info, which is pretty much your number one Half-Life resource nowadays. Um, this is their tools and resources page. Um, I think I got it from Wiki and then Tools and Resources. They have so much stuff here. I recommend you checking it out. Um, so what we're going to do, uh, I'm going to guide you through installing it. And I also created a um, uh, sprite model pack, which um, has some models and sprites that will um, show, that will display inside Jack Camera um, for things like, you know, like the game text and scripted sequences. I'll have custom models and sprites now that I modified the FGD to go with and I, I took them from um, Hammer 3.5.1 and 3.5.2 which were some like custom community made Hammer uh, projects with um, custom sprites and models and I kind of took the best of all of them and combined them into one. So I'm going to start by downloading Jack and I've already downloaded all of these so um, we're just going to kind of go through the motions. I'm going to actually middle click on the mouse wheel to open it up in a new tab. Uh, I'm going to download Jack. I already have it installed um, in this folder here, right here. So I'm not going to uh, download it. Uh, and then we're going to go the ZHLT. This is actually just a single download. So I'll just start, I'll just click it. And then I will also put it in the same folder. Save that there. And then I'm going to go to the, um, Asset Manager, and it looks like there's some other programming stuff here if you guys wanted to. This Half-Life updated looks cool. It supports Visual Studio 2019. Anyway, um, and then this is made by Solar Killer. He's done a lot of work for Half-Life tools and modding, so I'll give him some praise. So we're going to install, or we're going to download the manager, the Asset Manager.exe. I already have it. I'm going to cancel that. And then I have my model sprite pack that, of course, I will link in the description. I'll put all these links in the descriptions. I'm going to save it right here. So what we're going to do then, I'm going to browse to this folder and we're going to install Jackhammer. And uh, that was just a black screen because that was the user account control thing that we had to confirm. So we'll say next, we're going to do 64 bit. Um, and I had already installed it, so it's kind of pre-filled here, but I'm putting it in a folder called Jack2. Um, I'm choosing not to create a start menu folder. Um, I unchecked these on my install, but um, if you're going to make Jackhammer your new editor, uh, I would select these. And then, so now we can choose the location of the hl.exe file, which I recommend because it's going to auto find your textures and your build paths, and it's automatically going to populate it in the um, game configuration in Jackhammer, which saves you some, some time. So, why don't we do that? Um, my Steam library is uh, P, Games, Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Half-Life. So we're going to choose hl.exe. We're going to say next, next, install. And I'm not going to launch Jack just yet. We're going to do the Half-Life Asset Manager. Um, I already have it installed. It's just, you know, next, next. Yeah, it already it uh, exists for me so it is a pretty straightforward one nothing to see there really so once that is installed you can just let it be and so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to open another folder i'm going to go file explorer go here games half-life so i'm going to go into my jack 2 folder i'm going to go into half-life then from here i'm going to copy over these two things uh, I'm just gonna go in here and I'm just gonna click and drag and put these out right into this half-life folder here I'm gonna say yes replace it I did not make one for opposing force I am so sorry um, but we'll move on and so then I'm gonna go into the uh, ZHLT and I'm just gonna drag and drop the tools into here that has our compile tools so now we will go into Jack I'm gonna open Jack and go back open Jack now we're in Jack. Um, I like how it has this advertisement. It's kind of cool. Anyway, um, so we're going to go Tools, Options, and we're going to start by setting up the game profiles. 
As you can see, it already pulled in the FGD files that were in our um, install directory for um, uh, Jack. Um, so anyway, it already pulled these in. So we're going to go to directories, and you can see it already pulled in the other Half-Life directories. And if you had a mod that you were working on, you would do this same path. But instead of Valve, you would put in your mod here, and instead it would be on this line. So I'm going to leave that at Valve. I don't have a mod right now. And then for the model viewer, we're going to uh, bring it to the path that the asset manager is in. So for me, it's in the C drive, program files, Half-Life Asset Manager. We're going to go to bin, and we're going to choose HLAM. And I'll show you how that integrates. And then textures, you can see it already filled in the textures. Pretty cool. Jackhammer has um, certainly made it easy for you to get up and running and build programs. We're just going to replace these with the ones in the tools folder. See, it already browses to the Half-Life folder. Um, so all we have to do is go into tools and this is CSG. I'm going to go with 64 bit, of course, um, HLBSP 64, HLVIS 64, and then HLRAD 64. Uh, and then I'm going to apply that. And then we can real quickly go through um, configuring Jack. I don't change too many things, a couple things. Um, so I'm just going to go through these real quick, see if there's anything of interest. Um, no, I'm not going to change any of these. Usually I'll, I'll go through these if I feel like something isn't um, working right or if something, uh, if I don't like the way Jack is working, I'll maybe go through these to see if I can change something. But I do like to change this in the 2d view i like to check this box i like to default to a fixed degree rotation and i'll show you what that is when um in a, in a minute and then i also like to take off the scroll bars i don't like the scroll bars just personal preference and then um in the 3d views i like to turn up my forward speed a little bit otherwise i feel like we move way too slow and i also like to increase my render distance um and we went through all this um Nothing wrong with the autosave feature. Do it if you feel like it. I'm, uh, I'll actually turn that on. And then, so we'll start a, and one more thing I like to do. Um, I am very used to the um, texture panel being on top here. And it, and it lets us, or it asks us to create a room for us, which is kind of cool, but um, I'm not gonna choose to do it again. Um, to infrequent holding, it says if we hold the shift key, we can, we can do it, so if I want to do that again, but I don't want it again. So, oh, I don't like that. But anyway, this is me zooming around. I'm just going to turn that off. It doesn't work the way I wanted it to. Um, so this we have our room here, and I like to just um, move this. So I'm going to go click right up here. I'm going to move it under the textures. Um, oh, lordy. This is the way it is in Hammer. Um, this is the entity. And I'll, it's just the way it is in here. It's what I'm used to, so I moved it down. Um, and already has a light in here for us. Incredible. So I'll show you what a couple of the entities look like. Um, but I'll start by showing you the rotation thing. So if I click on him uh, and I go to... I'm going to decrease the grid by pressing the bracket keys. Um, see how it snaps every time it rotates? It snaps to a 15 degree rotation. If we didn't have that... Um, it would just rotate freeform and I mean, it's kind of cool, but especially if you're rotating like a wall, um, it's hard to get precise in here. So I, I don't really like it. Um, so I like to keep it on the fixed rotation. So that way rotating is just bam, you know, it's that easy. I like it. I wonder if in seeing if holding alt or control, takes it off and it doesn't. But holding shift actually will allow us to fine tune it. So so for example, I'll show you some of the entities that we have. So even for something like Envy Message, um, you know, it has a little, little loading box and I like how it displays the text and maybe one for Envy Shake. There's a little guy and he's shaking, you know. Uh, we'll zoom in. Envy Shake, I like that. I, I just, I guess it's personal preference. I just didn't like the one, all of them that came with Jackhammer, and plus there were some that didn't have anything. 
So I wanted to make sure that I got all those and I had went through and did them all. And another one is like a scripted sequence, for example. It's a big tall box. I mean, you can modify it if you don't like the big tall box. I guess it's just easier to see for me. Um, Cause you also have the scripted sentence, which is a small little blip box, just like the text message. Um, see so it says scripted sequence. Um, what else do we got? And then, oh, there's a multi-manager one too. Where are we? Multi-manager. Oop, I clicked on the wrong thing. I clicked on a monster maker. You see how this one just has like the text on the side of it. Um, multi-manager. That's the orange little box. Goes in, thing goes out. Um, don't make any jokes about that. And so something else like a multi-source, it's a little lock. So, but you get the point. Um, and Jackhammer also has these cool features like um, you can toggle transparency and you can also turn uh, displaying on or off certain textures. So if I create this. Um, why is that not snapping now? What? That should be. Oh, the, that's weird. Anyway, I fixed it. I don't know why it wasn't snapping. Maybe that was a bug. Anyway, Jack Hammer is still pretty cool. Don't worry about that. So as you can see, the texture, a trigger texture can be transparent or not. You can choose. I kind of like that. And then when your map starts getting uh, big and cluttered with uh, tons of brushes and stuff, you can actually turn on and off displaying those so if your map is getting real cluttered you can turn off all these no draw hint clip and trigger textures which is pretty nice and another thing you can do why we link the model viewer is you can display certain models in the model viewer so if i right click on this model in the 3d view i can go right to view model and then it opens up in the asset manager how cool is that um, this asset manager is a very um, powerful program is built from the ground up for modern systems. Um, it's not going to crash on you every time you open and close it, kind of like the old model viewer did. Um, it also has this cool lighting feature. Kind of neat. Just to see how it would look in different light. Um, why don't we change it to Barney real quick and overtake a scientist. We'll bring him down. Right click, view model. And we'll see what kind of shading. Scientist gets. That's cool. I like that. Anyway, thanks to Solo Killer for it. Um, and then we'll just test run. We'll compile this. Actually, we don't have. I'm going to cancel that. I hit F9. I'm going to cancel that because we don't have a start point. So we're going to change this back to info player start. And there's so many other things, I mean, that are kind of nice about jackhammer that i'm not going to go over just right now but um we'll hit f9 well i'm going to delete this too because otherwise it's going to cause a problem in the map okay f9 um i'm going to save over to one i already recorded this once i'm doing it again uh, and i am not going to check don't run the game because i don't have it open yet and we're just going to make it real quick going to open opens it for us and here we are so pretty neat that it creates the room for you, but um, I, I decided to turn that off. And that's pretty much all I have for you today. Um, thank you everyone for watching, commenting, subscribing, and liking. Um, it means a lot that everyone's still following me uh, in 2021. So until next time.